Hey guys, so we are here in the beautiful Soho, New York City with my two favorite photographers in the world, Lindsay Adler and Danny Diamond. I never thought this day would happen, but we are all here together to shoot our very first episode series premiere of Photography Wars. Now, Lindsay has a very, very uh, artificial light studio type of aesthetic. She uses a lot of gel. She does a lot of she does a lot, a lot of cool stuff with lighting. And uh, Danny's very, very into natural light and uh, creamy bokeh and bokehlicious. Uh, so the objective today is to do everything the same except for their styles, which is artificial light for Lindsay, natural light for Danny. All right, so Lindsay, so tell me, tell me a little bit about your history with photography and what type of gear you primarily use. Sure. So I'm a portrait and fashion photographer. I'm here in New York. I have been in New York for over a decade, shooting for two decades, and my style is totally different than my friend over here. I shoot like really clean, bold, graphic, high contrast. I use mostly artificial light, which is what you'll see today, of course. Most of the time I shoot with a Canon R5 and I usually shoot with a 24-105. I like the versatility. So basically, if I want to crop in for a headshot and then two seconds later get full length, it's no problem. I know already, like Danny shoots really wide apertures often. Most of the time, I'm shooting in the studio, so I don't need a narrow depth of field. Uh, so the 24 to 105, for example, is 4.0, but I'm shooting mostly F8 or F11 in the studio. When I come outside, it kind of depends. Sometimes I will shoot wider apertures to simplify a little bit, or I'm just really careful with my composition. I use the environment in focus on purpose. Very, very cool. Okay, Danny, tell me a little bit about your background with photography and what type of gear you primarily use. So I mostly shoot fashion and portrait photography. I thought I, show, I shoot fashion until I came across Lindsay's work and her stuff is just so good. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really a fashion photographer. So I like shooting in the streets of New York City um, because I like the aesthetics, the different background options. I love being challenged with the ambient light and the sunlight and, and just being pressured into creating content in that way. I like shooting super wide apertures on all my prime lenses, which is why I have prime lenses, because I like creating depth in my images. And the easiest way to do it is to just blur out the background. So when did you get into photography? So I started photography about 12 years ago after I graduated from business school. I actually never liked photography. Uh, my mom used to take me to JCPenney and force me in front of a camera. So I'm like, yeah, photography is not my thing. But I like the technical side of photography and I think that's my approach. I approach it from a technical standpoint instead of an artist standpoint. So for me, my portraits are all just technically. I find the best pleasing backgrounds, colors, settings and I know that by having all that equation together it translates to creating a good portrait. Very cool. Okay guys so we are ready to go shoot. For this first look we have Adelina wearing this beautiful white dress. Now Lindsay and Danny both have to photograph her in the same look on the same square block. They can't go off the square block and on the same 35 millimeter lens. Well they can shoot 35 millimeters or wider. It doesn't have to be a 35 millimeter lens but it has to be 35 millimeters or wider and they have five minutes to do this. I'm gonna flip a coin to see who goes first. Lindsay heads or tails? Heads. Okay, heads, Lindsay, you go first. Excellent. Oh yeah, I get to watch her now. Oh, actually, Danny's not allowed to watch, so they're actually what? not. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't want you to get any ideas from her. And, uh, okay. and what we're gonna do is, is next time we're gonna let Danny go first because Lindsay went first this time, so first look to you'll go All first. Right. And uh, let's, let's get this going. Right. Let's do it, people. All right, Lindsay, you got five minutes. Take it away. That's it? That's it. Just go? Just okay, go. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, okay, so I think this structural shoulders will look good with leading lines. So can I bring you out here, but don't get hit by cars? Okay, we're red light. We're good. Oh, man. Okay, so here's the thing. That, that natural light bouncing off now looks good, but it's maybe not dramatic enough. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna underexpose the ambient real quick. I'm working out my composition and then I'm gonna add my strobe in. Yeah, that's perfect, okay. Will you bring in the strobe? She's definitely gonna win this one. Nah, I'm kidding, I got you, I got you. I know I have ideas, guys. We're good, we're good. I think I'm gonna do this in black and white, so let me change it to monochromatic. Yeah, black and white looks amazing, looks fire. Okay, cool. So, so far, uh, I found an approximate composition I liked and then I made sure the background looked bright. Now the sun is out, so it's kind of bright in the background. So I'm using a slightly faster shutter speed to darken down the background. 
Then I'm adding this in with high speed sync, a beauty dish with a grid. And so that'll pop her out even though I can make the background darker. Ah, these strobists, they're the real photographers. Guys like me, us natural light people, we don't know what we're doing. You said I can go wider than, I can do 35 and 24. 35 or wider, okay, good. Man, I keep having to adjust. That's perfect, okay, this is gorgeous. I got this, I got this, guys, I got this. I watch YouTube tutorials all morning on natural light. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it. <laughs> so that is my shot one. Can I put you so that you're backlit by the sun here? All right, so I have time for a second shot. So here's what I wanna do. I'm going to place her in the little pocket of light so that the sun is acting like a second strobe. It's my second light source. It's going to give her this beautiful rim light. That's great. Um, and then I'm going to bring in the beauty dish. It's the Profoto B1 with a white beauty dish and a grid. I'm gonna bring it in nice and close to her on this side. So what I can do is I can darken down the background so I expose for that highlight on her. That creates a ton of drama, but if I expose for her and that rim light, she's gonna be dark, so that's where the beauty dish comes in and lights her. And then I'm gonna add one little trick to my bag. Uh, I'm gonna add something called a black pro mist. What a black pro mist does is it takes highlights and it hazes them and glows them. So basically, it'll take that sun and just mm, give me a ton of glow. So let's do this. All right, oh good, no cars here. Ooh, I got that highlight. Eric, back up just a little, sorry. And I'll look over at Eric. And then relax that hand, pretty. Great, oh perfect. Wait, no, ah! Okay, fine. How are we doing? I think excellent. You look yeah. like you, oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Love. Get out of here. It's what? Danny's turn. <laughs> okay. So we just finished filming with Lindsay and now it is Danny's turn. So you got five minutes on the clock. Five and, minutes uh, is plenty of time for me. All right, one, two, and three. We're off. Okay. Okay, so they're making me shoot with 35 and I do not like 35, but I also like to be challenged. If it was 85, I'd shoot anywhere I wanted. But since I'm shooting with a 35, I need to be a lot more conscious of my surrounding. So I saw this, I'm like, what's up? Check this out, they built a set for us here on the streets of New York City. Beautiful columns, matches her gown dress, her skin tones with the flowers, the browns. We got all shades of browns and creams today. So let's take some creamy photos, you know what I'm saying? I'm shooting with the Sony A1, 35-1.4 Sony G Master lens. That's what I'm talking about. These mirrorless cameras are so dope because you don't have to look through the viewfinder. These screens on the back are on point. Adelina, keep going with those. That is so good. I paid her extra money to save the good poses for me. Lindsay, I got you. Here's the thing. I know you guys want me to talk trash and throw shade his way, but I don't even need to because I've already won. <laughs> Wow, let me get some V-flats, boys. Let's get those V-flats. If you don't have an assistant, the way you use these bad boys is either you use them like this to bounce some light up, but we don't have strong enough light to use it that way, so we're gonna, we're gonna bring it in like this. Oh, that is dope. That is so good. Stand like right over here. Let me see how that'll look. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are looking great in the background. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Got to be a little bit passive aggressive here in New York City if you want to be successful in life. You know what I'm saying? Bring it on, bring it on. Wow, 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 wow. Who needs strobes when you got natural light? This is so much easier. No assistance, no nothing. To change it up a little bit, I want to use some harsh sunlight. I see a spot over here on the crosswalk across the street. We're gonna go do it. Let's create magic, people. Come on. Holy cow. Holy cow, this is a shot, guys. Okay, 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 now I'm getting excited. Wow, wow, wow. Adelina, amazing. Just walk right towards me. Keep your face towards the sun. Is 
This basically looks like artificial light. That's how dope it is. You're gonna walk on a crosswalk. Okay, go. Walk, look straight, look towards me. Look towards me over here. Cut, <coughs> cut. What do you mean, cut? I'm waiting for this, ah, oh, come on. Just when the sun is coming out. All right, all right, we got our shot though, we good. You we look good. like you got some sick shots. We got. So what do you think about that Lindsay girl? You think you Lindsay? can ever beat? Nah. She might be better than me, but I got a better camera. It's all uh, about the camera, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's all about the camera. <laughs> Guys, it's all about the camera. Danny just finished up with Adelina. How did it go? Woo! Five minutes went by in two seconds. I feel like I've done these kind of things before, and I honestly feel like my results are way better than I had imagined. The background, the light, everything just came together really well. And shooting with 35, which I usually don't do, I don't know. It was magical. I like it. I like my results. I'm excited to see. And what about you, Lindsay? How did everything go? I mean, I, here's the thing. These streets are inspiring. The dress was inspiring. Uh, she's beautiful. So it's kind of hard not to come away with something you're happy with. So I was trying to be inspired by her. And so I was going by like the really structural pieces of the dress and I was trying to figure out how I could have like structural leading lines to her. Like that's what the image was all about for me, that and dramatic lighting. Do you feel like you achieved, like you got what you wanted? Totally, yeah. I'm super happy. Okay. We are not going to determine a winner. We're gonna let you guys do that. Go Let's easy get... on us. Go easy. <laughs> Don't beat us up in the comments. Yeah. I know what you're thinking over there. <laughs> I know Lindsay has like three times the amount of followers I have, so she, they're already ganging up on me in the comments. I know. <laughs> All right, guys, so for the second look, we have Danny and Lindsay. They're, they're ready to go. They've been competing hard, talking a lot of smack. And uh, we have Adelina, our model, uh, wearing a beautiful red dress with, uh, with a red lip. And we're gonna choose a different square block that they're gonna both be limited to. Um, and this time they can only use an 85 millimeter lens or longer. So 85 and upward. They're limited to five minutes. So one, two, three, let's go. So because Lindsay shot first last time, for the second look, Danny's gonna be shooting first. Danny, you got anything cool in store for us? Nothing cool at all because the dress is so cool. It's so extreme, it's so different than what I do. Look at that red, look at the layers. What it's about awesome. shooting on the 85? Are you comfortable in 85 territory? <laughs> 85, hometown baby, right here. My eyeballs are set to look 85 millimeters at all time. I got two of them right here. I spoke to God. He switched them over from 50 to 85. <laughs> are you guys ready for this? I'm ready. Are you ready, Adelina? I'm ready. Let's do it. Five minutes on the clock, all right? Five minutes. Okay, no problem. Five minutes. Boom shakalaka. Let's do it. All right, 85. Back up, back up, back up. You know what I'm saying? I like the background, I like it all. I think we just have to add some V-flats. We need some V-flats! I'm glad you know how to use these things. Five years of using, I still can't figure it out. Yeah, that's good. Hold the dress just like that. Take a step closer to the wall. Right there, do the same exact thing with the hands. The hands on the side was so perfect. I love that. That's perfect. That's amazing. That's so good. Bring the chin back down over there. Right there, now look at me from right there. That's amazing. Right there, hold that, hold that. Bring the chin back down. There we go. Right there, that's amazing. That's amazing. Slight smirk is cut, perfect. Cut, 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 cut. What? Come on. No, I'm kidding. I got the shot. I was really watching you. Look at you got some cool <laughs> stuff here. I took too many. It's going to be hard to choose. We got good stuff. This V-flat, I wouldn't be able to do without it. And it's not me trying to promote V-flat, guys. You guys know I've been using these V-flats for years. But this shot was a little bit of a tricky shot. The lighting in the street was not so good. I had to bounce that light back up into her face to give me that cool catch light in the eyes. Show people how I hold these cameras, by the way. This is the Danny Diamond one-hander, it's called. If you gotta shoot vertical, if you try doing this, you're gonna get carpal tunnel, you'll bust your wrist in three years. So this is the thing. Any lens, this works, except like those 200 F2 lenses, but you shouldn't use those anyways. You take the lens, grab it, and then you put your finger right on the shutter. You see that? This hand is free. You can do whatever you want. Put your hand in your pocket, put your hand in your pants, whatever you want. And then boom, look at that, look at that, look at that. I got him amazing, one-hander. Look number two. Yeah. I am really excited about this. Uh, I'm awesome. curious to see what we're gonna do with all this red. I'm looking around, cause like if I do red, I always do red on red, right? Like I'll have the red lip and then a red background and the red dress. 
So I love the environment, but it's there's maybe no, not. I don't see there's any no red. red there. So I gotta, I gotta problem solve. I have ideas though. I'm excited to see what you're gonna do. Um, just keep in mind, we are doing 85 millimeters or longer. I'm ready. There 85. 85, one, two. That's a fat lens, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is ginormous. Seriously. Let's get it going. Yeah, I'm ready. So I, I love this right here. So let's just start here. Um, okay, so quickly, don't fall through the grate. I'm gonna have you stand like kind of right against here. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of note out of Danny's playbook. I'm gonna try shooting at 1.2. We'll see, okay? We'll see about adding strobes. We might have to high speed sync it. Let me test it. Lean a little bit more on the column itself, like on the front side of it. Oh my gosh, the natural it looks pretty. This is uh, this is tough because <laughs> I'm gonna add a strobe, but it looks good as is. Can I add that in? I'm gonna just see if I can maybe shape the light a little more, add a little more contrast on her. Go um, really short light. Let's make it like really dramatic. Make some drama here. Okay, so that's super dramatic. I love it. Okay, so just play play your face towards that light, and then hand more on your yeah. That's pretty. Let's say hand on your chest a little bit. Good. I liked the first shot a lot where it was a little brighter, but this is at least more dramatic, a little more sculptural. But now I created a lot of shadows in the front here, so I'm gonna add a red gel because I wanted to add some red to the scene. So let me grab, I'm gonna grab another strobe. B1 red gel. All right, bend that front knee for me. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let me grab just a couple of these so I can move on. Love it. Okay, that's beautiful. How's it looking? Great. Ah! It's a little bright. It's like, like little tweaks. Okay. This is close enough. There's one more shot I wanted to get. Okay, so we're gonna hustle down that way. There's like a, a window down there. So uh, I'm gonna leave this one behind. We're gonna skip the red gel on this one. Okay. Go, no, go. Okay, you don't have to run as fast as me, but I'm gonna just get my composition. Okay, okay, here's what's going on real quick. I'm playing with the reflections. That's what I love. Uh, and I was originally shooting at a little bit higher of an aperture, but I decided to shoot wide open because it just melts away and it looks like the, the mirror's almost liquid. I love that. And then to give it a little more drama and sculpting, I have that uh, B1 with the grid, just kind of kissing her profile for some separation of light. And then I'm gonna try moving around in different poses. I got my 85, let's do it. And then chin straight out that way. And then chin way up. Yeah, that's beautiful. And then relax everything and hand down a little lower. Perfect, then eyes at me, beautiful. And lean your head in real close, so like squish, squish, squish. Good. Now. Beautiful, All I love right. that. All right, what? The party pooper's here. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. That was fast. All right, guys, we got a little surprise for you. So uh, we're gonna actually make Lindsay and Danny photograph each other. I'm How do you guys ready? feel about that? Are you ready? Yeah, I mean, your photos are already so good of yourself, so. I need an updated one. All right, I I'm ready. All I right. think Lindsay could use a Danny photo and Danny could use a Lindsay photo, so. That's let's right. make this happen, let's see what they could do, and uh, then we'll wrap this thing up. Let's get it. Right, who's first? I think you're first. Who went no, first last wait, time? Wait. You want to. Okay, okay, I'll go first. I'll go first. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's do this. <laughs> okay, guys, so for Danny's portrait, I decided to cut the difference between the two of our styles. So I'm gonna go vocalicious for him, really narrow depth of field uh, with my 85, but then I'm gonna add strobes for me. So kind of be the difference between the two. I'm feeling, I'm gonna shoot it with a black and white preset, like you know, picture style. Obviously we can go color if you want, but I feel like I want something that's like New York. It shows a little bit of you. I've got some of the New York City streets behind. Like, I think that's the moment, okay? Let's do it. All right. So, I already saw you doing your cute little smile, so. I've been, I've been practicing in front of the mirror for years for this moment right now. I'm gonna bring it on. I'm gonna bring it on. Let's Eric, back up this. Oh my gosh! You're like legit doing the over the shoulder and looking different directions. Oh my gosh. You're so good. He's like legit doing like. I've been watching models do this for like two million pictures by now. So I better know how to give a couple poses. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here we go. So I liked that. Looking your head kind of this way with that, that serious look. Oh, that's great. Yep, that's perfect. And then eyes to me, chin up just a little and straight onto me with your head. And I'll give me a little smile. Now even bigger and a super giggle. Good, that's great.
All right, guys, so we have Lindsay here in front of my camera, and it's very rare for me to have high profile people in front of the camera. And when I do, I try not to get fancy. I try to go simple because I know that simple is always gonna win. Let's see if Lindsay should continue being a photographer or maybe she could take on a new career modeling full time. I, there will be no doubt after this how you feel. I am, I, no, I'm gonna try to convince her like that. There's less competition in the fashion world. Now here's my, my trick and you can't steal it after I teach it to you, okay? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, you're gonna close your eyes and just count to five and let your cheeks, lips, everything just soften up. And then just whenever you're ready, you just slowly open up and look at me, okay? Okay. No, take your time. Once you close your eyes, you'll feel it. Okay. That's amazing. I love that soft look. That's so good. She's getting into it. You see, I told you guys. And bring the hands out of your pocket for one. This is what I tell people. Think about opening pistachios. You like that line, right? I knew she was gonna like it. <laughs> it's my Middle Eastern. I grew up eating nuts. That's all we eat three times a day. All right, you ready? Yeah. There we go. Go ahead. Wow. So good. Okay, try some other angles. We'll come over here. Lindsay, you're in charge of just modeling. Let him hold it. Because <laughs> I, I want to get a little bit more and like half body almost. Oh, there we go. She's got a table. Sure. All right, guys, that's a wrap for episode one, Photography Wars. More coming. Guys, thank you so much. This is like literally a dream come true. Working with Lindsay, I was going to look at him and say Lindsay Adler and Danny Diamond. <laughs> guys, this is awesome. I've been following these photographers literally for the past decade, and I've learned so much when I started getting into photography about nine years ago. All right, so I'm curious about how you guys feel about how today went. You know, this is obviously obviously something that's outside of your comfort zones and something that both of you have not really done in the past or, or at least recently. Um, you know, you're both icons in this industry. So what was, what was today's experience like for you? Well, okay, so you call it photography wars and you're like, how is this competition? But I think we didn't talk smack, like it's, it's yeah. not really about that. I didn't feel like it was a competition at all, mainly because of your personality. You have a very easy going personality and you have a very different style than me. So it was very enjoyable to work at your side. It was really, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I just, I think it, it proves the point that there's not, yeah, maybe you could say there's a winner, but there's not really. It's about right. the different styles and aesthetics. And so right. we both get hired by clients to shoot in our style. So there's no right or wrong. It's just, uh, exactly. just a different approach. That's right. It was oh, fun. Yeah. Really, it was a good experience. I, I rarely work next to other photographers. Same. So, and I didn't really get to watch you today, but I got to see you interact with everyone here. And uh, it's just an amazing experience. There's a lot to learn from everyone. Yeah, for sure. I had an awesome time watching both of you. Um, and what I realized is, is how professional both of these people are. They don't complain, besides Danny when he gets hungry. That's but, right. <laughs> no, I do complain a lot. But yeah. no, they literally okay, just they right? just keep going. They have a good, a great work ethic. And this is why they are where they are. All right, guys, thanks for watching episode one of Photography Wars. Uh, many more to come. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. I'm going to put everyone's information I'm gonna put everyone's information in the description below. This is what happens during rush hour in New York City, by the way. But uh, but stay tuned. Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed.